Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Paris and Baz Market Updates. Uh, we are starting this segment again, back by popular demand. We've had a lot of um, a lot of changes happening in the market, which is what we wanted to discuss with you. As you are aware, we do rentals, sales and finance, so we've got a good overview of what's happening in the market in those uh, three categories. Um, and I've got Gadev here with me discussing the mortgage side Hi of guys. Well. How are you going? <laughs> so yeah, we'll be talking about the residential side, the sales, um, the rentals and the finance side. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. in terms of um, just starting it off with mortgages, what, yeah. what, what are you seeing? Obviously, there's been an increase in... Um, sorry, I've got to be closer yeah. <laughs> in size <laughs> so here. With, with, the, with the finance, obviously, um, with the interest rates rising um, considerably over the last year, serviceability has been affected um, uh, considerably over the last year. Uh, hopefully, rates do start coming down uh, next mm. year. So, so, I think it's a good time to do a rate review, um, looking at current interest rates. I know a lot of the loans are coming off fixed rates this year, uh, mid to end this year. So, do give us a call. We'll, we'll do a um, uh, rate review for you guys just to make sure you're on the best rate. Um, there's a number of refinance offers on the market as well. What are those uh, offers? So, so, if we look at um, a lot of the lenders, they're offering um, 4K cashbacks mm -hmm. um, depending on which bank we go to. Um, we, we've got you know, sharp interest rates, uh, variable rates as well. Yep. Um, some what are of they the, starting at? Um, depending on the OVR, we're looking around 5.24. Okay. Um, and the, the interest rates um, for owner occupied principal and interest, mm. uh, depending on your situation. Um, probably a good time to unlock a bit of equity. Um, valuations are still holding up um, quite well what, from what we are seeing with the valuations we're ordering uh, on, the, on the existing properties that customers hold. Yep. So do get in touch. I think it's a very uh, good time to do a rate review, especially mm. if your fixed rates are expiring. Mm -hmm. And on the back of that, uh, some the fixed rates have uh, reduced as well um, for three years, what, okay. what, what we've noticed. So, yeah, so, so we, that tells us that the prediction of the banks is that in the next couple of years, the rates yep. are going to go down. Yep. So they are offering those lucrative rates for locking in at a, a, a longer period correct because that's what's likely to happen in the future so what we can see is just to make sure you're on the best rate we can do a combination variable fixed um, just to see that you get the best uh, desirable outcome for, for your situation perfect there you go so if you are obviously if you did fix your rates uh, during COVID you were around the one eight one nine two percent it's basically tripled it's not ideal but in uh, uh, if you are comparing it to what's normal, it is coming back to normalcy of, uh, you know, c comparing it to history when it has been 18% or more. Uh, so around the 5 to 6% has been quite common and it's coming back to those levels. Naturally, inflation and other factors are uh, causing um, uh, a concern and uh, causing that increase, but it is now coming back to normal. Um, yeah. and, and also, just to add to that, um, with serviceability, we're using rental income, the, the shading has reduced, so we can use a higher income on, on rental. A few, few other things have, have changed uh, with the serviceability calculators as well. So do get in touch just to uh, assess your borrowing capacity. Check when. Wow. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Well, that's, uh, that's really good to know. So if you haven't spoken to a broker or your bank or whoever you speak to for finance, um, get in touch um, and we're obviously always here to help even if it's just a conversation about what your current scenario is and what you can do to save a bit of money and make a bit of money that's what we're here for now in terms of rentals uh, I'm sure you've all heard all of the uh, the news about the rental crisis and about uh, the rates being quite um, you know what we're being offered and uh, it is a lot higher than what's being advertised Yes, that is still happening in the market. There are, there is definitely lots of interest, uh, and, and it, it is varying. So, if you have a property uh, under management uh, and that's been you've had it tenanted for the last twelve months, so just so you know, you can increase rent once only every 12 months um, and uh, if you do have if it's been on rent for about 12 months and it's time for a review and you're not sure what the rate could be get in touch with us we've got a, a good cross-section of what the rates are with being managers of multiple properties throughout Sydney uh, so happy to help you out there and obviously if you're looking for a property manager we're here from that point of view as well but definitely a right time uh, to look at uh, rate rises from a, um, a rent rate perspective and if you are looking at really a property or you're looking at renting a property and not sure how you can uh, get your application stronger to be able to get into properties more than happy to help and give out some tips from there as well so happy to help from that point of view
In terms of sales, interestingly enough, what we have noticed is that in the last couple of weeks, regardless of the uh, interest rates going up, there's been a lot of activity. There's a lot of buyer activity in a first home buyer segment. Uh, so even up to at least, you know, about a, uh, up to a million, uh, definitely a lot of activity under 600,000. So lots of units that are coming on the market, they're going quite quickly. Um, and then even up to 1 million, it is, there, there's a lot of interest. And then as you go from 1 million to 1.5, it reduces a bit further. And 1.5 uh, onwards, then there is a lot of selection. People are very critical of spending that sort of money and wanting to make sure lining up all their ducks. So those transactions are taking a little bit longer, depending on where you are and which areas you're considering. Now, uh, naturally, uh, what's driving this from a first home buyer perspective? Some of you may know that the stamp duty um, changes are about to come about, given that the Labor government is now um, in force. So what they have done is they've taken away um, the annual uh, la um, stamp duty, which was an option that the first home buyers could opt into. So that finishes on the 30th of June. So there's a bit of deadline. So if you've got a property that is sub one mil and you're looking at selling, if it's an investment property, uh, you, chances are it's going to go quite quickly because there's a lot of buyers in that space and again similarly between 1 to 1.5 lots of buyers in that space and that deadline of 30th of June is really driving those buyers to make a commitment um, and especially with the, the um, uh, pre-approvals uh, expiring soon also so lots of activity being seen in the uh, buyer side there's uh, uh, you know the doom and gloom that you hear on the on the news it's not like that on on uh, what we are seeing so um, definitely a good time to sell if you are looking at selling the market is starting to show signs of uh, growth from that point of view um, and definitely from a rental point of view uh, you can get better returns than what you've had in the past thank you very much for listening we will be bringing this to you on a weekly basis again as we mentioned this has come back on a popular demand because we used to we started this and people found it very educational very interesting of what's happening in the market and we will try our best to uh, bring across all the uh, the current topics and what's been the trend uh, during that sort of week. And on, on, on the back of that as well, I, th I think with the sales part, uh, stock is quite low. Yes. So with stock being low, um, prices are the prices that we are achieving with properties is, is great. Yeah. So it, yeah, I think it's a good time to sell as well. Um, if you're looking to come to market, not much stock on the on the market. People are holding on, obviously, with rate, uh, rate rises and thinking they won't get a good price. But with the number of sales we've done, uh, we're achieving above market. Good, good results, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the other last thing to remember, next week, my, uh, Sunday, is Mother's Day. We've got a great promotion, a giveaway for three lucky winners uh, to win um, fantastic prizes, total prize pool of 450000 All you have to do is follow our page and the page of Xenia Hampers, the one that we're in partnership with. Uh, like and comment on the post and tag a friend. Uh, for an entry. So it's as simple as that. You don't have to do anything extra and you'll be going into the draw to win multiple prizes up to a value of 450000 One of the, the, the hot, hotly uh, interesting one is the $150 Event Cinemas Gold Class voucher to take mum for that. So don't forget Mother's Day next Sunday and do come back again next week for a further update. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.